we're going to take you to the island of Dominica. And we're going to go to the Emerald Pool. And we are going to go to Miro Beach, which is a black volcanic sand beach. But first, we're going to show you the views from the cruise ship and how a cruise ship actually docks. So this is uh, the Dominica cruise dock. As you can see all the buildings right there. Those are all shops. All those tents right there are locals that are selling stuff that they make. Video. It's on video! <laughs> and I finally made it off the ship. And this will show you what the cruise ports are like. They have all kinds of different stuff laid out everywhere. Um, it happened to be Christmas time. These are one of the shops with everything you can imagine. In. Today we're going to take Pepper's Tours. This is part one of two. So this is um, the bus that we hopped on. And I'm just going to give you a little bit of information about the island's background while we are taking a bus ride all the way up to our first stop, which is the Emerald Pool. So the Commonwealth of Dominica is an island country in the Caribbean. It is part of the Windward Islands chain and the Lesser Antilles. Dominica compromises a land area of 290 square miles. The island is 29 miles long and has a maximum breadth of 16 miles. The highest point is Morin Dibaudens at 1,447 meters. The population was 71,000 in the 2011 census, so it's, I'm sure it's a little bit higher than that now. As you can tell by these roads, they are narrow and winding. Our van actually broke down on an inclined curve for about a half hour. Dominica is the Caribbean's best kept secret. Its towering mountains, lush green forests, and winding rivers are practically begging for exploration. Dominica is adamant in its preservation and conservation of local forestry and wildlife, more so than any other islands in the region. In fact, the island is considered one of the most pristine and well-preserved spots in the Western Hemisphere. So now we're going to take it to the Emerald Pool. This was our first stop on the tour, and it is a beautiful waterfall at the end of the 15 minute long uh, nature trail. It's in Morn Troyes of Pitens National Park and it is perfect for amateur hikers. The trail does consist of a slightly rocky downhill trek to a clearing and then there's a waterfall and it's got an extraordinary chilly swimming area beans the average temperature is around 92 degrees in the summertime. Although the walking path is not that difficult, the pool itself getting in and out of is very slippery and dangerous. Because of the boulders in the water and the slipperiness, I didn't go in, but I did take video. So here we are at the Emerald Pool. There's a ton of people in here. It's very rocky and dangerous. I say I don't know how many people fall. It's like going in here, but I'm gonna get some good video. For all my YouTube fans out there, that's right. Uh, 72 stairs down, 72 stairs back up, and they're not easy stairs. Keep an eye down there, you'll see people like kind of falling and stumbling and everything else. I just hope nobody gets hurt. That's all. Very, very difficult to get in and out of the Emerald Pool. 
It's not even emerald, it's just like a murky, a murky color or something. It's a beautiful day here in Dominica. So yeah, the Emerald Pool got pretty packed. And this is the beautiful waterfall. I don't know that anybody went to the top of that. Usually rushing water like that is pretty, pretty good on the back. Especially if you had a bad back and you get that motion where it's just beating on you. And I happen to see a live crab right near the edge of that water. So I'm sure there's crabs in there. Dominica is an island of volcanic formation. It has a number of active volcanoes, although eruptions are rare. There's also geothermal activity, including fermarolls, which are volcanic vents, and hot springs. There are nine volcanoes, 365 rivers, 18 named waterfalls, and one boiling lake, which is the second largest in the world after Frying Pan Lake in New Zealand. Why Dominica has plenty of lovely beaches due to its volcanic origins, the majority of the island's beaches have black, brown, and silver sand. They're still very pretty, and they have palm trees and clear Caribbean waters, but just a little bit different than the Caribbean postcards that you have in mind. And what's a vacation without the island beer? Kaboli! That is Dominica's island beer. We just about made it to Mero Beach, which is a favorite of locals. This is one of the few beaches with amenities. There's calm, warm waters, it makes for an incredible swim. Mero Beach is named after the small town of Mero, which is located on the west coast of the island and lies north of the Leo River. The beach offers evidence of the island's volcanic nature. They can be seen in the black sand laden with fine silvery grains that sparkle in the radiant sunlight. During the day, this is an ideal location for a visitor who wishes to relax and have fun while interacting with local inhabitants. There's also nearby pubs and restaurants. At night, Mero Beach is transformed into a romantic haven as nature comes to life. Various species of glowing fireflies will guide your footsteps in the smooth sand. And it's time for the infamous Shanster Spin Shot. I hope you enjoyed my video on part one of Domenica. Please don't forget to like subscribe and share my videos and remember it's up to you to make it fun and make it yours we'll see you the next time